family and welcome back to Be My Brown's Kitchen. Hey family and welcome back to Meet My Brown's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna be making a key lime pie. Honey, it's summertime and all of the things that are gonna be going on, let's not forget to bring our dessert. So the produce owls are running over with beautiful fruit and vegetables. And honey, let me tell you, grab you a bag of limes so you can make your own key lime pies. Now, if you want to see my key lime pie recipe, stay tuned. Okay, so for the crust for my pies, I got some pre-made crust. One of them is made with uh, walnuts and one is made with pecans. So I do have a recipe for a homemade crust, but just, you know, to try to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and use these pre-made crust. Okay, so we'll get started working on our filling for our pies. So stay tuned. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and just zest some lime to sprinkle into our pie. And for the finish, we'll probably go ahead and go top it with some of this lime zest. We'll call it a little confetti. We'll have a little confetti to top our pie. Now make sure that you're only zesting the green portion of the lime. So you don't want to go down too far with your grater. But you want to grate at least maybe three tablespoons, let's say four tablespoons of this lime zest. Now I'm going to squeeze these limes to try to get about a cup of lime juice because I'm going to make two pies. Now of course this recipe is doubled so you know how to break it down if you're gonna make one pie. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these limes zested and I'll come back. Now make sure that you zest the limes prior to slicing them, okay? Prior to juicing them. And you can use key limes, they're much smaller and they would take longer, um, but they'll have a beautiful taste, beautiful flavor. I just have some regular limes and um, using regular limes will be just fine for your key lime pie. So give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so I did manage to get a cup of lime juice. Now we'll go ahead and get started on our pie filling. Okay, so I'm gonna be using um, 16 ounces of whipped cream spread. Now, of course, you can use two blocks of cream cheese, that'd be just fine. You still have to whip them. This one is just a little bit easier to, to turn, I guess, or to uh, stir, stir. <laughs> If you don't have a mixer, either way, I was trying to make it as easy as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and get my two containers of this whipped cream cheese into my bowl. And we'll go ahead and add in our condensed milk. Okay, that's one, and I'm gonna get the second one. Now, if I didn't mention already, these are no bake pies. So you do not have to bake them. I will not be adding any eggs. You just mix them and set them in a the refrigerator to set, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the condensed milk and we'll get these can open and we'll get everything mixed together. Okay, so here's my sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Ugh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is I do have, actually I have three cans of condensed milk. But what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna get this mixed up. I'm gonna get everything mixed up. I'm gonna mix this up and we'll taste to see about how many cans exactly that I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna pull out my mixers and I'm gonna go ahead and get this nice and mixed up and I'll be back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that it mixed up so beautifully. It really took maybe five seconds to get it to this using that whipped cream cheese. So listen, um, give me a few minutes and I'll come back. I'm gonna go ahead and taste for sweetness and um, I'm gonna get my lime juice incorporated as well and again if i need to add another can i'll let you know 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in up oh, that cup of lime juice. That's half. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that half and then I'll pour in the rest. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. Let's see, let's go ahead and give that a taste and see where we're at with that. Mm, that lime, honey. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is add um, about, well, let me just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and add, cause I intended to add it anyway, the can of condensed milk. And then I'm gonna add some whipped topping that I have to give it a nice uh, fluffy um, texture. And we'll be ready to go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna add, and then I'll add my uh, grated um, zest, my zest. <laughs> and then we'll be ready to go ahead and start filling our pies. So give me a few minutes, I'm gonna get this all blended up. And I'll be okay, back. so I've added that second can of condensed milk and it's so beautiful and fluffy. Now I'm gonna add this uh, container of whipped topping and I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up and we'll add our zest and we'll get ready to pour our pie. How beautiful and fluffy our filling is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding our, our zest, our lime zest, so we can get these pies ready. So give me a minute. Okay, so I'm going in with my zest. Okay, I'm gonna get this nice and mixed up and I'll be back. Okay, family, I just poured up my pie filling into my walnut and my pecan crust. The lighter crust to the left is the walnut and the pecan crust is on the right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set these in a refrigerator for at least six hours. I'm gonna go ahead and call it six hours and um, maybe overnight. Yeah, cause I won't be cutting them this evening. But I'm gonna go ahead and let these set for, or you would go ahead and let these set for at least six hours. Maybe you should make them the night before um, or early, early in the morning before, you know, a get together party or wherever you decide to serve these. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this key lime recipe. If you've never made a pie before, this is completely easy and oh so delicious. You don't even have to turn on the oven for this one, honey. They're beautiful, they're flavorful. You have their fresh limes and you have that beautiful lime zest just sprinkled all throughout that filling. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to slice into these pies. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll check you in the next video.